Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Darkroom, and this video is going to show you how flexible our templates are as far as branding goes. Um, a lot of people are looking at designs like this that we created uh, for the Design of Glow sets, and they're extremely branded with rounded corners and backgrounds and so on. And, and I just want to show you some of the flexibility that you still have if you if you get a, a template like this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to the back end, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up the colors to create a a much more uh, high contrast. Uh, get rid of the rounded corners, squared edges, um, uh, to give it a much different look. So this is a really soft look. I'm going to give it a little bit more of a hard look. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the background right now. And I'm in our ITDR admin, and um, this is the design tab. And you have a couple of options in here. So I'm going to start with the settings. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the stroke that goes around the body. Um, and I'm going to um, get rid of the body curve. So I'm going to turn that down. And I'm going to turn up the drop shadow quite a bit here. To, to create a little bit of a drop shadow on the on the from the body onto the background, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the footer background color to be white so it matches our body, and I'm going to uh, scroll down here and see what my other options are, and I'm going to change the social networking icons to be uh, a darker color so that it's a uh, <clears throat> so that it creates a lot more contrast uh, between that and the body. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And then I'm going to move on to the logo area. And instead of uploading a, a graphic, I'm just going to go ahead and type in, I'm going to type in a name here. <clears throat> and I'm going to make this a dark color for, for the font color. Um, and I just want to come back here and double check that. This is the same color. So it is. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to my fonts. And I'm going to start making everything dark. So again, I'm going to do this really high contrast, um, dark and light version of this template. And you're going to see how this looks in just a second. So I'm chasing, chasing all my uh, font colors here. I'm going to leave the Twitter color a little bit a light gray. And um, I'm going to come in here and change the footer information to a dark color. Uh, save that. And now I'm going to go to the background. And, and that background has a... Um, a really distinct graphic. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that altogether, and I'm gonna add the top color uh, to be the same as the bottom color. We're gonna make it all white. So this is just a super minimalist, clean design. And I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And then let's go ahead and go back to our template. And so we're starting with this really soft, uh, this really fun soft design. And I'm gonna make it a little bit more um, hard and 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 uh, black and white. So I'm gonna go ahead and reload this. And you can see just how quickly we, we turned it into a, a different looking blog. It's got a very different tone. It's more of a modern hard look. So um, cool cool in its own right. So, you know, you can just to show you, you can get in the back end and, and you can start changing up colors and doing different things. And, and you can see how flexible just the, the branding side of things are. So I hope that was informative. I hope that helped out when, when you're making a decision. And you can see how flexible things are. And you can get in the back end and, and play around with things. And we have videos that show you exactly how to do different things. So um, go ahead and jump onto our support if you have any other questions. Um, or look for more information on intothedarkroom.com. Thanks again, guys.